Hi guys, welcome to another A1 video walk round. This time we've got a Ripper 640D, absolute beast. I've just got to say, I thought it was going to be sunnier today. So when you're seeing grey clouds everywhere and I'm dressed like I'm going on a boat, don't take the mick, even though it's slightly funny. Behind the camera today we've got Russ. Hello. Russ, say hello. Hello. Okay, uh, so this is how it's going to work. I'm going to take you around the car, around the outside. Um, then we'll take you around the inside. There'll be a quite a bit to cover in there because there's a lot of spec on this car. We'll take you for a quick drive and then there'll be a couple of minutes at the end just to go through what we give away in terms of warranties, finance deals, all that kind of stuff. Okay, are you ready, Russ? Are you at home ready? Yeah. Yeah, you could have done that nod then. Yeah? <laughs> okay, let's do this. So you take them around, Russ, and I will talk while we walk. So, 640 DSE, 85,000 miles on this one. We wouldn't normally sell uh, a, a car over six years old or 60,000 miles. Uh, however, we put it through the PDI. We took it in pie exchange against my own A7 uh, and it's in such nice nick that we thought we'd give it a go. Uh, a couple of bits we have done, I'll point out in a minute. Uh, so 85,000 miles, 61 plate, uh, just 170 year, 70 quid a year to tax this, Russ. That all? I know. What, for a car this powerful? I know. Jesus. That's mental. God. That's less than uh, that's less than 50p a horsepower. That is cheap. I know. Yeah. Um, 313 horses. How much torque? You know we love a bit of there, torque. It's got to be in the fours, isn't it? 464. 464? Four, four. It's a ripper. Wow. But for those who don't know what torque is, it's basically all your mid-range power and it makes the, sh it makes the thing move like the world orbiting the sun. Uh, max speed? 155? Ah, restricted. Restricted, so even very more good. than that really. Uh, full service history, really nice history on it. And the chap who owned it before, Steve, uh, had only just um, done it, I think, earlier this year. So he's only done a thousand or two miles since. Okay, couple of bits we've done, just to make it look a little bit sweet -o. Uh This has been pretty much de -chromed. So we've done the wheels in black, uh, new centre caps, and also my little pet peeve, they have this big cheesy silver grin on it so we've just bent that and put the sports black one on it just to uh, <coughs> bring it up to uh, a bit more modern standard what do you think of it Russ? I think it looks great yeah, yeah. it's good doesn't it okay if you just uh, pause for us there we'll go inside we need to get this done before it's uh, it tips down so under the hood this is the three litre twin turbo bad man. This really is a super quick car. But I tell you what, it does an excellent miles per gallon as well. Um, obviously our detailers have been under this. You can see it's super clean. In terms of the outside, it's all been detailed outside, all been cut back. Um, I say it's probably been used up and down the motorway a little bit. And there are a few, can you come in here, Russ? I'll just show you that there's a few stone chips and bits and pieces. Uh, where it's probably done most of its miles, I would say, on the motorway, which would lend itself to the way it drives, which is super, super tight. Okay, if we come round to the back, sorry, I'm shouting because it's very windy, and uh, I, I wouldn't want you to not hear me. What's that, Kev? Exactly. Yeah, travesty. Uh, okay, decent sized boot on these, go a long, long way back. I'm going to get a good set, a few sets of golf clubs in, uh, and obviously this is a really important bit here. Without that, there literally would be no point in the boot. No, none at all. No. No. That has completed it. Yeah. Very uh, busy piece under there. Happy day. Right, let's close that down. Uh, let's just show them in the back. So you can do this electrically, but it's kind of bloody pointless, really. So it's a two plus two. You know, you will get four adults in it, um, but I would say they were much more, you know, fine for going short journey. Do you want to go to Italy in it with four people? Probably not. Uh, but that's not what this car's for. This car is all about the person who's going to be sitting in that seat there. Oh, and wow. possibly their significant other. Right, so I'm going to jump in. We're going to go through the spec. So, uh, electric and memory seats, which I love because I hate sharing a car with my wife that I can't uh, ha I just get in. And rather than me my knees being around here, I can just press the button first and I don't break my knees getting in it. Um, folding and electric wing mirrors, obviously electric windows. Uh, what I like on this car, if I can turn up, <laughs> we've got digital display um, digital display on it, got widescreen navigation, 
obviously we've got heated seats and all that kind of stuff you know just really nice touches on this like electrically movable um steering the column auto lights auto wipers cruise control speed limiter you know, really lovely seat in position lovely lovely seats but really the main thing about this car is how it drives the interior is really nice can i just nick the yeah, the camera, because there's just a couple of bits I want to point out in terms of there's a, li a little bit of wear along here, which are, they're pretty much known for it, these, where the alley just turns a little bit. And then there's a little bit here where I think an arm's been resting and it's just bobbled the, the leather up a little bit on there. So I just want to be uh, uh, as honest as we can with the description. Uh, okay, I, I don't think we've got to do too much more on it. Obviously, it's got digital climate control and all kind of stuff like that. We've got paddles for changing gear, but really we want to just go and have a quick run in it and uh, so I can tell you all the cool things about this car and what makes it good. All right, stop it there for Right, ready for a drive? Ready for a drive. Russ? Hello. Hi. Right, okay, let's do this. So, we've both driven this car, so we both thought we'd come for a test drive with you. So that we can, uh, you like your cars, don't I you? I love my cars. Love my old Beamers as well. This is fast. This is very fast. I think I should probably get out of the estate first. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take you for a little drive and um, just tell you what we like about the car and what we don't like about the car. I think for me, 6 Series, great boot, fantastic up front, massive... Um, center console uh, that that annoys me a little bit uh, just because it's so wide but there's a lot of gear in there and it goes all through through the car and that's why it's there um i love the seats on these are comfy aren't this they? is one of the bit nicest cruises you can have it's also a bit stealthy yeah. where it's so smooth and quiet but you put your foot down you know you're in a four -liter, well a 640d yeah three liter twin yeah, turbo yeah, you know about it big big torque good brakes on this it's in really nice nick, isn't it? For really a, for good. A, for a nearly 10-year-old car with 80-odd K on, you can tell it's been pretty well looked after. Also, having the widescreen sat-nav, good sound system is awesome. It just feels like a modern car as well. So, so what we're going to do with this one is rather than um, do our normal round town one, we're just going to take you for a burst down the 23. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, listen to that. Oh, that's 60 already. Just <laughs> unbelievable. Yes. I think this does 60. Officially, it's about five seconds. Uh, this is certainly, I've driven a lot of fast cars and this is certainly super, super quick. So much mid-range on it, it's unbelievable. But quite frugal as well if you don't drive it like an absolute loser. So we're just gonna do a quick junction down the uh, A23 here. So it's just uh, a little bit rainy. Gotta remember this is rear wheel drive. Yes. Try, try not to stick it into a bush. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're now doing 70, uh, just coming on to the motorway. Quiet, Russ. Very quiet. Is the engine even on? Ah, oh, I love you did that. That's good. <laughs> you old salesman, you. Um, very easy, quiet cabin room, real nice ride. Steering's precise and taut. Feels really steady going along. I like this car, Russ. Mm, I do. Maybe we should just keep, keep it. Should we? Should we just keep it? Yeah, let's turn the video off. No, <laughs> <only joking. laughs> okay, so gonna just come off of the uh, A23 here. We've got a nice little bend. I just want to take it through the bend, and then we'll uh, we'll put you out of your misery, and you can stop watching us, especially if you're watching that side. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll, you know, <laughs> we'll just we'll just edit that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. 90 degree bend, oh man, this is flat, really flat. That was easy, Very that easy. was too easy to take a 60. Mm. Okay, so, I think if you're looking for a nice big touring car, nice big GT, that's got... <laughs> I mean, plenty. Oh, that was 150, wasn't it? That's actually insane, mate. You've got your camera. No. Of course it wasn't. We did everything within the speed limit. Oh, that's quick to 70. Yeah, it was quick yeah. to 70. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're looking for a big cruiser, <laughs> you're making me laugh. 
you're looking for a big cruiser, this is certainly worth coming to look at. Um, I think in terms of condition, you'll be pretty happy with it. And obviously with all the backup we give as an RAC approved dealer, and our implicit, uh, implicit, that's the wrong word. Impeccable. impeccable that'll be the one. Uh, impeccable uh, customer service and preparation standards, you'll buy a great car. Uh, now, we're done, be a couple of minutes afterwards, just tell you what we give away. Uh, Russ, say goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, and press the button. Hi guys, well I hope you've uh, enjoyed our video so far and uh, you've enjoyed looking around the vehicle and going for a little drive with me and Sam. Uh, so we just want to go through a few bits and pieces uh, just to tie everything up and give you all the information about buying a car from A1 Car Search. So firstly we are an RAC approved dealer, uh, that means you get a, a lot of extra stuff when you buy the car through us, but mainly it means that the car's gone through the RAC approved inspection scheme, which means our workshop here has rigorously gone through the vehicle and make sure that you know if the brakes are less than 40% we've changed them, if the tyres are less than 3 or 4 mil we've changed them, uh, so forth. And we do that across the car so that it makes sure that you get a vehicle in superb condition that you haven't got to go you know, a, a couple of hundred yards down the road and change the brakes. Uh, we make sure that the vehicles are up to their exacting standards and we get inspected about six times a year by the RAC to make sure that we're doing our job properly. You'll also get a free RAC warranty with the vehicle. Generally, most of our vehicles are fairly new, so they're, come, they're getting covered by the Platinum warranty, which is about as good as warranty as I've seen in, in 25 years in the business. That's why we use it, and that's why all the customers that trust us, trust us to make sure we've made the right choice in our, our, our choice of warranty company and our partnership with the RAC. You can uh, extend the six month cover that we give away two, three years, uh, either 24 or 36 months total coverage. Um, this also ups the warranty claim limit from £1,000 to £4,000, uh, but on any of the policies, there's no limit to how many claims you can make. Um, so that sort of covers that. You do also get a year's free breakdown cover, which you can register. Uh, that's your own choice. That comes uh, with every vehicle that we sell. We also put a brand new MOT on the vehicle. All vehicles are serviced as required. And certainly if the vehicle is within four months or 4,000 miles of requiring a service, we'll do it early. Uh, all the vehicles come with two keys. Um, we also do really great finance deals. So if the car is under five years old, uh, it can be uh, done on the PCP scheme, which is a bit like a lease with an option to buy at the end. That can make the payments really manageable. Or you can just do it on a straight HP deal, one to five years. APRs at the moment are somewhere between six and 8%. It depends how much you're borrowing and over how long. It also does depend on you having an excellent credit uh, rating. If your credit isn't as what they now say excellent, then it can go up a percent or two depending on uh, your credit profile. Uh, as you'll see from our videos, our, our cars all look fantastic. And that's because we do something that really a lot of other car dealers, whether they be main dealers or even top end independents, don't do. We do a full detail on the car, which is like a super posh valet. Um, it takes about seven or eight hours for our guys just to do one car, but they'll go through the entire vehicle, wet, wet vac, all the headlines, um, carpets, treat leathers, wet vac seats, boots, under the bonnet, they will cut back all of the paintwork and then machine uh, polish the outside as well so that when you see the vehicles they're fantastic and obviously we prep the vehicles for marks and bits and pieces like that so actually when you're when most people I think probably 95% of people who come here and 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 look at a car via a video just come and buy it because they're not disappointed when they turn up uh, by the condition of the vehicle well our main part of our business is actually car sourcing so my customers have stayed with me for, oh God, how long have we been going now? About 15 or 16 years. And they keep coming back because we're able to find whatever car or van they require for their personal or business use. And we do both new and used vehicles, but we predominantly sort of specialize up to about five years old. We don't tend to go too much older than that, unless it's a, a classic or something like that that I want to get involved with. And we will do those, but we'll find you whatever make or model. If I would buy it myself, uh, so there are certain cars that I've been asked for that we just wouldn't supply because we don't think they're very good. And, and in that case, we will help you through, see what you need from a vehicle and uh, suggest some cars to you. 
We do this a lot for a lot of customers actually, where they're not quite sure what they want. There's lots of choice out there. So they take our advice and we'll send them uh, vehicles that we think after really we, we go through a fact find of what they need, what they're going to spend, uh, what they're using the vehicle and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's I think all that I need to cover. Thank you for watching the video and uh, hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.